<laughs> Hello and welcome to the show. So, what's been happening? This young lady has big plans for King Charles. What advice would you give you, King? What would you like to see him do? Do a backflip. <laughs> the summer is finally over. <laughs> From BBC Breakfast, Lewis Capaldi had a bit of a misunderstanding. Looks great. Well, you've got great hair too. Yeah, oh. I see you. Oh, look at that. There you go. That, that very rarely, rarely happens. happens. That very rarely happens. Would you, Come would on, would you like happens. a rim? Would you what? Would you like a rim? I thought you said a rim. Jesus. <laughs> 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 uh, the time now. We're coming up to nine o'clock. <laughs> now, the big news of the week was, of course, this. The Chancellor unveils the biggest tax cuts in half a century in a radical bid to kickstart growth. Tax cut after tax cut after tax cut. Unfortunately, those tax cuts were for people who were already fucking minted. High earners, especially those on more than 150,000 a year, will benefit the most. You're not going to like this package if you care more about the poor. The rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. Damn right! This was the biggest piss take. The cap on bankers' bonuses, which had limited them to twice someone's annual salary, is also being axed. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Let's fix the economy by giving more money to the people who broke it in the first place. Giving them more money makes as much sense as putting these two in charge of NHS queues. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, tell me how this is fair. Someone on £20,000 a year salary will gain £157. Someone earning £200,000 a year will gain 5220 Someone on a million a year will be £55,000. Better off. 55 grand. That's nearly twice a nurse's salary. We weren't clapping Barclays during the pandemic. You don't see BBC reporters at Canary Wharf. Things have got so bad for the stockbrokers. I'm told they're only having two skiing holidays a year. <laughs> Millionaires don't need help. They aren't fixing dents in their cars like this. <laughs> it's a joke. The cost of living crisis is affecting millions. People are just struggling all over. It's just not fair. So what's going to happen after the six months? What's going to happen after three months? It needs addressing by the government, urgently. Electricity has gone up 54%. Petrol's gone up 32%. Cheese is so expensive, it's being locked in security boxes. <laughs> it's so desperate, these guys have joined OnlyFans. We, we've actually had to crop that image, cos if you look closely, Gromit's tugging him off. <laughs> Fracking knob cheese. Anyway, <laughs> we may... Sorry. We may even lose one of the best things about this country. Pub bosses fear a wave of closures across the UK because of skyrocketing energy prices. We can't lose pubs! The country's broken! Now is not the time to get sober! <laughs> we need pubs. I mean, sure, sometimes they get a bit too raucous. Due to physical violence, shit -face Mondays have been cancelled. <laughs> but pubs are special. I mean, where else can you witness sporting events like this? Hands in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> You know that pub's actually called the Bunch of Grapes? <laughs> it's exhausting. All we've heard this week is this. What is trickle-down economics? Trickle-down economics. Trickle-down economics. Trickle-down economics. Trickle-down. Is this going to work? No. <laughs> trickle-down economics doesn't work. This is what they say happens. This rich person gets a tax cut. <laughs> He then spends that money on things he needs, like watches, champagne, cars, cleaners, restaurants, maybe a pet ostrich. <laughs> the money trickles down and everyone's minted. But this is the truth. The rich person gets more money but already has everything he needs, so nothing trickles down, the rich get richer and everyone else gets nothing, except the ostrich, who gets a monocle. 
A study of 50 years of data from 18 countries found that trickle-down tax cuts make the rich richer but are of no value to overall economy. What they do is they blind people with language. The wealth will trickle, dribble, flow, seep, ooze. <laughs> it doesn't. It moves less than my cousin on ketamine. <laughs> if, we, <laughs> if we're giving bankers more money, the only people that will benefit are coke dealers, the Cayman Isles, <laughs> and people that make wanky socks. <laughs> Also, the budget was designed to kickstart the economy and make the pound a world-beating currency. So how did that go? We haven't seen anything like this in 50 years. The value of the pound has fallen to a record low against the dollar lowest level. The new all-time low. I cannot remember another budget that has gone down as badly as this one. They fucked it, man. <laughs> the pound was at the lowest point ever. I haven't seen a tumble that severe since this. <laughs> Oh, dear. <laughs> Mind you. I'd still pick him ahead of Harry Maguire. To be honest, <laughs> we shouldn't be surprised that Liz Truss has shafted the economy. She's never been brilliant with numbers. You had a plan in 2014 to build 200,000 new starter homes. That was five years ago. How many did you build? Well, there haven't been as many starter homes as we would have liked, How many Andrew? did you build? I don't have the exact numbers for Well, you. it's easy to remember. It's zero. You built one. <laughs> <laughs> How can you not remember zero? <laughs> it's easy. It's what the pound's going to be worth in a week. <laughs> and do you know what's crazy? She doesn't seem phased by any of this. Labour's policy uh, to tax the energy companies is supported by 68% of the public, according to polls. You're prepared to be unpopular, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Which is a good job, cos people aren't exactly fans. I think she's awful. I don't like her, and I think she's a liar. I, I, I basically don't see her as an intelligent person. <laughs> One lady was so unimpressed, she refused to stop her workout. I think anybody that comes into power and is promising to make tax cuts, when I don't think you can actually deliver that, is, it, like I say, it's just leading us down a path of um, false hope, really. It's mental! Who doesn't stop a workout for live TV? 98. <laughs> It's no wonder. It's it's no wonder. It's. One second. No, don't do it. I've got family. It's no wonder. When asked to describe Liz Trust with one word, people said this. Thatcher, liar, idiot, useless, untrustworthy. Someone said evil. <laughs> Probably because they've heard her laugh. I think some of my friends might say I'm a bit relentless. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe. Maybe it's not the laugh. Maybe they saw this statue of her. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> That's not Liz Truss. That's Andy from Little Britain. <laughs> right? Elsewhere this week, did anyone hear about the scandal rocking the world of chess? A chess story is going viral. A firestorm rocking the chess world. St. Louis is now at the centre of an outsized controversy. One player accused of cheating against the reigning world champion, some theorizing he used vibrating wearable devices that fed him the right moves. So, what was this vibrating device? A ring? Something in his shoe? <laughs> no. <laughs> According to reports, he was cheating by using remote control <laughs> vibrating <laughs> anal beads. <laughs> Apparently, it's mad, isn't it? It's so crazy. 
Apparently, people became suspicious when he moved the pawn and shouted, Oh, shit, I'm gonna come! <laughs> this story. Do you know, people were outraged. They should have been impressed. <laughs> what an arsehole, literally. <laughs> what an arsehole! <laughs> Who has an anus that skilled? <laughs> you could send it messages. <laughs> Start playing aggressive, you're right. <laughs> Watch out for his queen, I agree. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm gonna come again! <laughs> they should turn that into a Netflix show. And if they do, they have to call it this.